welcome viewers to another episode in this series of episodes where we've continued to look at the 2023 20, internal mathematics paper 2. If you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel and also don't forget to download the companion app where we'll be able to find all the exam past papers, quizzes that we can help to practice. Remember, practice makes it permanent. Let us look at question 9. Answer the O of this question on a sheet of graph paper. A man intends to buy goats and cows for sale. He decides to buy not more than 50 goats and not more than 40 cows. He plans to buy at least 60 animals altogether. Question A. Given that X represents the number of goats and Y the number of cows, write three inequalities which represent these conditions. B. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 10 animals on each axis, draw the x and y axis for x is greater or equal to 0 but less or equal to 18, then y is greater or equal to 0 but less or equal to 18 respectively, and shade the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the solution of the inequalities lie. See the profit on the sale of a goat is 100 kwacha and on a cow is 800 kwacha. How many animals of each type should he buy to make maximum profit? Then D, what is the maximum profit? So these are the questions. So let's start with question A. So question A, we've been guided already that X represents the number of goats, then Y represents the number of cows. We are required to light three inequalities and this is for max. Then let us learn through the information that we've been given. So a man intends to buy goats and cows for sale. He decides to buy not more than so not more than 50 goats. So meaning the maximum number of goats are 50 you can buy. You can't buy more than 50. So what are goats? So goats represents x. So this tells me that the first inequality is that x is less or equal to 50, meaning 50 is greater than x. So x cannot exceed 50. 50 is the maximum it can go. That's the first inequality. Number two, not more than 40 cows. So the number of cows cannot also exceed 40. So inequality number two, so this is m is that y should be less or equal to 40. That's what it means. Then we need to look for inequality number 3. He plans to buy at least 60 animals altogether. So he plans to buy in total. They should be at least meaning the minimum. At least means the minimum. The minimum should be 60. So what this tells me is x plus y should be greater or equal to 60. Meaning 60 is less or equal to x plus y. So these are the three inequalities that we're looking for. Once we do that, then we're good to go. We get the four marks. Then we move to question B. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 10 animals on each axis. So 2 cm to represent 10 animals on each axis. Draw the x and y axis for this interval respectively and shade the unwanted region to show clearly the region where the solution of the inequalities lie. So what we need to do is take note of the instruction. So 2 cm represent 10 animals. So let us go to the graph paper then transfer this information. So what you notice is I've labeled the graph properly. This is what you need to ensure. So take note that ensure that you label the x-axis properly so that you don't lose unnecessary marks. So let us start now plotting these. Like we said, the instruction was 2 cm, which is this to 8, represent 10 units of animals. So even here, you notice see, that like that. So the intervals are 10, 10. So that's what you need to ensure that you follow those instructions. So the first one is x is less or equal to 50. So you go to 50 along the x axis. So this is where the maximum will be maximum will be at this point. So I just need to get the ruler and press it there then draw. So you come and draw a straight line there. Once we do that line then we can shade. 
remember the condition is x is less or equal to 50 so we need to come here we need the values below 50 so anything above 50 is unwanted so we come and shade this region as an unwanted region then we go to the next one the next one is y is less or equal to 40 again we're going to use the ruler so we draw a line like that again the unwanted region in this case because we are saying y should be less or equal to 40 is above because what we want is below so the unwanted region is what is above so we shade this one like this then we remain with one inequality which is we are saying when you add these two the answer should be always greater than 60 so we come and use this principle so x plus y let us draw this line is equal to 60 so when x is equal to 0 y will equal to 60 when y is equal to 0 x is equal to 60 so we go to 60 here we we'll make a point this is a point then this will also be a point so we need the line to pass through those points so let us get a ruler so once we place that ruler then we come and draw a line that will pass through this point so it will be like that okay so that's what we're looking for then we are told that when we add these two x plus y the minimum should be 60 so meaning if i pick a point above this point then just get this point which is 30 plus 30 comma 40 so 30 plus 40 is 70 so that's the region we want so anything below this line is what we don't want so we shared that region so we are going to have this one as an unwanted region so this is the area we are interested in the one that remains at the middle so once you do this you would have answered this question properly and you are on the right path to getting the full max so question c the profit on the sale of a goat is 100 kwacha and on a cow profit is 800 how many animals of which type should be he buy to make maximum profit so the profit here is this the profit there is then you're looking for how many should he buy to make the maximum profit so that's from the profit function so from information being given the profit function is equal to 100 x plus 800 y so what this tells me is for every one cattle he sell he makes 800 kwacha while from god is 100 kwacha so meaning selling cows is more profitable so now we need to look for the graph so because more profit is coming from cows we need to get as many as possible what's the highest number of cows we can get the highest is bounded by this line this line which is 40 okay so this is C. So the highest maximum y is equal to 40. What's the maximum value of x? The maximum value of x is equal to 50. Are these two feasible? Yes, they are feasible. They are here at the corner. So we can have the maximum of both cases. Getting another point reduces one of the two. So we don't want that. So the maximum maximum number of gods is 50 and cows is in 40 that he must buy then when he buys that what's the maximum profit so at now at this point we can even find that profit we just now substitute so in this function we are going to have profit is equal to 100 times x what is x so x at the maximum point x here is 50 so we're going to put a 50 then plus 800 times y what is y y is a 40 then 100 times 50 is 5000 plus 8 times 4 is 32 plus those three zeros so it's 32,000 then we add this we're going to get 37,000 kwasha as in the profit now this profit is the maximum profit that you can get 
you will not get any other property other than that if i get this point below here which is 10 cow then 50 goats so I just substitute it to be 10 10 times 800 is 8000 plus 50 times 100 it will be 5000 so it will be 8000 plus 5000 it will just be 13 thousand which is way less than 37 thousand the same case if i came and got this point which is 20 comma 40 so it will be 10 times 20 it will give me 2000 plus 40 comma comma 800 so 32000 plus 2000 to 80000 to be lower than 37000 so this is how you answer this question to get the full max so what's the maximum profit so the maximum profit is what you've found in here to be D. So the maximum, the maximum profit is 37,000 kwacha. So thank you for joining me in this episode. Join me in the next episode as I look at question 10.